The human body needs salt to maintain normal fluid levels and muscle function. However, when you consider the excess sodium in processed and fast foods, we're taking in far too much and risking high blood pressure, heart attack, and other dangerous health conditions. Here are 10 effective ways to cut back on salt. Make it a habit to read and understand the labels of the products going into your shopping cart. Consider things like sodium per serving and opt for lower sodium options. Rinse canned beans and vegetables in a colander. This will eliminate any excess sodium in the canning liquids. One simple way to reduce salt is to dine out less often. Also, rely less on packaged foods and eat more meals at home. Spice blends, like Italian spice or Cajun seasoning, usually contain hidden salt. Instead, look for no or low sodium spice packets. Instead of adding table salt when you boil rice or pasta, try adding kelp, a type of seaweed that's high in nutrients, but only packs 180 milligrams of sodium per serving. It's difficult to get good fresh produce in the winter, but you can opt for pre-packaged frozen veggies over canned to decrease sodium intake. Keep in mind that when a product is low fat, it's often high in sodium to enhance flavor when higher fat or calorie ingredients are stripped out. A surefire way to stop adding extra salt to your dinner plate is to ban the salt shaker from the dinner table altogether. Look for reduced sodium versions of products you already use like chicken stock or soy sauce. Liquid aminos are derived from soybeans, which contain naturally occurring amino acids, but zero sodium. For example, add a few drops to your stir fry instead of sodium heavy soy sauce. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the Active Beat channel for more health and lifestyle information.